Come sit it onto your heels with your toes tucked under. We're going to start out with our geisha pose. And um, if you have any knee issues, you can actually use a blanket. You can do the thickness that will work for you and put it right behind your thighs. And that way it won't put as much pressure onto your knees. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. I have a, a slight discomfort in that left knee. It's healing, but a little slowly. So close your eyes. Again, the toes are tucked under. We're spreading all 10 toes. Close your eyes. Take an inhale through your nose. And then exhale through your nose. Just take a few seconds here to get into your yoga mode, your Zen spot. So use your breath for that to calm down the mind. Opening the diaphragm, expanding the belly. And relaxing the thoughts here as you breathe in and breathe out. Focus on your breath. And relax with the weight onto your heels. I know the toes are going to start talking to you. Just relax. Try to stay with it. Good. We'll take one more breath like that, inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, open your eyes. Let's sweep the right arm up and over and behind your shoulders. And let's see if we can reach with the left hand. So a, a deep bind here for your shoulders. Hook the other hands. If you can't reach, grab your strap and Make sure the strap is tight. Bring the right elbow pointing up towards the sky. And then press, don't let the head drop. Push the back of the head into the arm. Good, nice deep inhale, deep exhale. Take one more. Good, and then releasing, reaching the arms up and overhead. Inhale, exhale, hands at the heart in your namaste. Inhale, let's sweep open. Exhale, hands at the heart. Inhale, sweeping. Exhale, hands at the heart. And then we'll do the other side. Left arm goes up. Try to reach between your shoulder blades. And if you can't reach on that side, like me, Feel free to, so grab a strap, right? We want to find the resistance. Grab the strap with the top hand and hold on to your strap here. So again, bring the elbow straight up. Try to find as little space as possible on the strap between the arms. Lift the chin, press the head into the arm. Breathing in and out. Two breaths. Relax into the shoulders. See if you can tighten a little bit more. Good. Last one. And then releasing. Reaching the arms up and overhead again. Inhale and then exhale, hands at the heart. Just feeling content and ready for a little bit of a challenge. And let's come on to our hands and knees. Remove your props. Push them aside. And release the toes here. So tap the top of the feet to the mat to release the tension we just did. Roll from side to side with the ankles. 
So we're going to do circle in motion with the body, the torso, around the hips and shoulders. So inhaling, back, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Just easing the hips, lower back, shoulders as we move around. You can widen the stance with your knees if you want. And go a little bit deeper. Good, let's switch direction. Good, a couple more. The last one, come center, we'll tuck the toes under and right where you are here, do a shorter down dog just to get you to get into your hamstring a little bit, nothing major, just warming up, breathe in and breathe out, tucking the belly right above the pubic bone in and up. Good, nice deep breath. Let's bend the knees, lift the heels, belly to thighs, pressing back a little deeper. Good, we'll take two breaths right here, flattening the spine, belly to thighs, releasing the head and neck. Then an inhale on the balls of your feet, lengthen the legs fully, keep the chest back, and then exhale, releasing heels to mat. Good. Inhale, we'll come into our plank. So you're going to have to lengthen a little bit here. Open the chest, inhale, and then exhale, lower down. Nice. Inhale into your cobra. So squeeze the legs and glutes. Tailbone to mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. We'll take four more. Inhale. And exhale, keep the pubic bone on the mat. That's how you gauge how far up you can go. Shoulders stay down the entire time. Inhale up. And exhale. Good inhale. And exhale, last one. Inhale up and pressing back. This time into your full version of your down dog. Pressing the heels back. Drop the heart center. Deep breath. Deep exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale on the balls of your feet. Exhale, jump forward. Inhale in your half lift. Open the chest and then exhale, deep fold. Good, reverse swan dive. Inhale, sweeping up. And exhale. Tadasana. Inhale, reaching up. Urva Hastasana. Look up and then exhale. Dive with the chest open. Inhale, elongate the spine. And then exhale, we'll step the right foot back into a semi-pyramid pose. So open the heart here, lift the chest, and see if you can lengthen through the front leg. Flattening the spine. Breathe. Good, one more. Draw the sternum bone forward. And then exhale, we'll drop the back knee into a lunge. And then let the, the inner thigh sink in here. Good, bend the front knee slightly more. Inhale, let's come up, sweep the arms into your crescent lunge. Exhale, open the chest. Sing the hips a little bit more. Looking up. Open the chest. Very nice. And then exhale, right hand to floor. Align it with your toes. 
And we're going to open the knee here and do a little bit of a twisted hip opener, twisted spine. Lift the chest and turn to your left. Look to your left. Push the knee away from you. Good. Last one. Nice. Staying here, we're going to bend the back leg. Good, and walk, work into your quad here, your front psoas, the right foot psoas, and quad. We're going to reach for the foot. So still looking back, pull the heel in. If you can't reach the foot, just keep extending the arm back and keep the twist. Deep breath, deep exhale. Last one, and releasing. Hands to floor, stepping back into your plank, plank split. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Belly to mat. Inhale into your Bhujangasana, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Big inhale. Big exhale, drop the chest. Again, big inhale. Big exhale. Come forward into your plank, high push up to low. Inhale to exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward dog, inhale. And downward dog, exhale. So I always start out my practices with my cobras. Once I'm warmed up and I feel ready, I do my chaturangas instead of my cobras. Good, deep breath. Pressing the thighs back. Inhale on the balls of your feet and then jump. Exhale. Deep fold. Inhale, half lift, elongate. Exhale, deep fold. Reverse swan, inhale, and exhale, Tadasana. Let's take an inhale, reaching up, and exhale, swan dive over your legs, nice long torso over the thighs, relax your head and neck, inhale in your half lift, lengthen, and exhale, we're going to step the left foot back into a Semi-pyramid pose, Parasvottanasana. So you want to uh, try to square the hips here to the top of the mat. Open the chest, and then lengthen the front leg. Make sure you don't turn that left hip back. Keep it forward and push the right hip back instead. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep the front right kneecap forward. Big inhale. Good. Last one. And then exhale. Drop forward into your crescent lunge. Back knee to mat. We'll sink the inner thighs here and then let them stretch slightly by pressing the right knee forward and opening up a little bit more. Breathe in and breathe out. Do the best you can. Sing those inner thighs forward. Last one. And inhale. Let's come up into a crescent lunge. Arms up and overhead. Mini back bend. Looking up. Keep the arms alongside the ears. Sing the hips more here. Good. Last breath. And releasing. Hand, left hand comes on the floor. Again, align it with your front foot. And we're going to turn to the um, right with the torso. Push the knee away from you as far as it will go. And then sink forward, drop that left thigh down, breathe in, 
breathe out. The back foot can be tucked under or not. Look to the right. Two breaths. Nice. And then come back a little bit more center. We're going to reach back. So bend the back leg, the back foot comes in and reach back from for the foot. So you may not be able to reach. I don't even know where my foot is today. So if you want a, some help, you can put a block underneath the left hand to get in. So I'm going to tip in my hand here. A little bit of height will help me reach my foot. This is my weak side. And then I'm going to go back down onto my flat palm. And then let's pull in here. That left hip, left psoas is really tight. Keep the chest open to your right. Pull the foot towards you. Do the best you can. Deep breath. Last one. And releasing. Real nice. Let's come back into onto your uh, hands and knees and into your plank split. Inhale. Lower down, exhale. Urva Mukha, upward dog. Exhale back. Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Hollow the belly. Drop the chest. Just rest right here. Take another breath. And then inhale, come forward. Again, one more vinyasa here. Inhale, exhale to lower. Urva Mukha, inhale. Adho Mukha, exhale. Again, feel free to do your, your knee chest chin with your half push-up, your cobras as well. Whatever works for you at this time. Until you build strength and you can do more. Good, let's take one last breath. Inhale on the balls of your feet. Exhale, jump or walk. Inhale in your half lift. And then exhale, drop. Wrap the arms around the back of your legs. Take a deep inhale here and deep exhale. Good, and then come halfway up. Interlace the hands behind you. We'll heel to the feet apart. Exhale, deep fold, drop the chest. Good, last one. Release your head and neck. Inhale, let's come back up. Come standing, sweep the arms. And then exhale in your Tadasana. Beautiful. Stepping back a little bit. Set, set up for a, uh, your stunning balances. We're going to do a series of it. And then we'll start with our tree pose. So hands at the waist, we'll start with the right leg up, flex the foot, right leg, knee forward. And when you're ready, just open the knee and start pressing, grab your ankle and push the foot against the inner thighs. Inhale when you're ready, reaching the arms up. Nice. We'll keep that left arm up and then bend the knee and reach the right foot behind you with the right hand. So for your dancer's pose, pull the leg up. You're going to start leaning slightly, but don't lean too far. It's about the leg going up, not the torso going forward. Keep the chest up and you gaze up.
last breath lung back in we'll go back into our tree pose don't panic just stay with your breath last breath hands at the heart pause and then slowly release okay so shaking the left leg here the standing leg shaking your ankle and then get set up again for your tree pose on the other side let's bring the the hands to your waist always set your gaze first your hands as well so drishti we move with intention in this practice as we uh, and we know that the vinyasa flow is much faster than what i'm teaching currently and so you want to be very precise intentionate and very attentive when you practice that's the key to a really good flow and that's why people crave it because we are attention is focused on one thing on what we're doing we're not thinking about anything else and it helps us clear our mind and just be uh, uh, elevate our energies so we feel better about ourselves our lives everything so um once we hone our skills with the vinyasa flow it becomes an amazing practice <laughs> and so all right so we're gonna bring the left knee up breathe you want to consolidate the right butt cheek squeeze the glute and quad and then we're gonna start moving into our tree pose so grab your ankle open the knee to the side right good push in once you're, you're stable, bring the arms up. Relax the shoulders. Push the right thigh back, the standing leg back. You want to be more on the heel than anything else, right? So it's going to change your balance here. So Take a moment. Last breath. All right, we'll keep the right arm up. And let's bring the left foot back behind you. Grab onto your foot with an open hand. And then push up with the foot into the hand. Push up and back. Up and back. Good. Breathe deeply. Keep going up. Keep the chest facing forward. Last breath. Let's come back center. Let's bring that right ankle here. So hand to waist, right hand that is. And then pull the foot in again. Squeezing foot and thigh and thigh and foot. When you feel stab stable, you bring the arms up. Keep your gaze on one spot in front of you. Keep that breath smooth. Good last breath. And then releasing, releasing the arms, releasing the leg. Shake, hip, thigh. Right, one side is always a little harder than the other. Good job. Nice. All right, let's take an inhale, sweep the arms. And exhale, reach the hands behind you, interlace and drop, feet are wide open. 
let the chest drop down make sure the shoulders stay up and away from your ears long neck press the arms over the head behind you deep breath deep exhale couple more good last one inhale let's come back up and exhale sweep the arms very nice let's take an inhale here we'll come on our tiptoe exhale stay stretch those ankles good and exhale let's sit into your malasana squat so come on to your heels so tiptoe on your um on your toes heels up open the knees wide we do our second version of the malasana squat um the one that's not really taught that much you're going to press the heels back so i have still a knee issue here so i can't push back very much but bring the heels to the mat drop the head and then flatten the feet here good and then take a few breaths good last one and then come sit it yeah my knee is still a little tight so i can't do all of this fully all right but it, so we work with our injuries always right we don't stop yoga or anything we just work around it and we rehab our body slowly but surely cobbler's pose soles of feet together keep the feet further away from you and we're doing more of a hip opener here than anything else drop your chest forehead to feet deep breaths good last one let's come back up inhale squeeze the knees together we'll do our seated twist so Ardha Matyandrasana with the straight right leg left foot over and turn left so you can hook the arm around the knee pull it in left hand align with the middle of your back on the floor turn the torso fully sideways the left sit bone is fully on the floor breathe in and breathe out deep breath and deep exhale couple more good last one nice look in front of you inhale and then exhale release the spine cross the ankle over the right knee for your seated pigeon a, a little hip opener here so try not to lean back you lose the sensation in the left hip keep the torso straight up relax the knee away from you the left knee if this feels easy you bring the right foot in a little bit more nice big inhale and then bring the right foot in more try to keep the torso straight up i'm keeping my hands behind me to help me not fall back and so we can also isolate this left hip here which is really nice let's release the legs inhale reach the arms up exhale deep fold in your Paschimottanasana so again we want to elongate the front of the torso onto the legs squeeze the legs onto the floor flex the feet more last one inhale let's come back up and then let's do our 
Our Dhammasandrasana on to the other side. So right foot over the left leg. It's about knee height. You could bring it closer if you want. Um, closer to you. It's up to you. It depends on how much you can flex. So turning right with the knee hooked into the elbow or hand. Grow the spine as you twist. Try to look to the right towards your right shoulder. Deep breath. Good. Deep exhale. Pushing the right sit bone on the mat as you grow that spine and twist it more. This is not enough. Like it's not enough for me on that side. I'm going to push my arm, my upper arm bone against the outside of the knee to get a little bit deeper. Twist here. Good, real nice. Turning your head all the way back if possible, or as far as you are able. Last breath. Inhale, look in front of you. Exhale, release the spine. And we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. Again, have your hands behind you. Bring the left foot in. And then keep the torso straight up from the sit bones. You should feel the sit bones on the floor. We're opening the right hip in a very passive way or not, not it's not as intensive as uh, the full pigeon version. Big inhale, grow the spine, push that right knee away from you, keep the flex of the right foot. And let's bring the left foot in a little bit more. One more. I'm going to bring my left foot a little bit more yet. I have a lot more room today because I, I went to see the chiropractor yesterday. Yay! Yeah, it really helps recalibrate the body. I fell um, a few weeks ago and I didn't know my ribs. One of my ribs was out, believe it or not. So these things happen. It wasn't a major fall, but it was a, it happened. So um, chiropractic care, I, I, she, she fixed me. I didn't even know I had uh, ribs that were just off. Nothing broken. But I feel tremendously better <laughs> now that I've seen her. So, all right, let's release the legs. Let's take an inhale. And then exhale, fold forward, drop. Over your thighs for your Paschimottanasana, you sit it forward fold. So make sure the inner thighs don't roll open. Never, right? Roll the inner thighs inwardly towards the floor. Kneecap should be facing up. And then allow your torso to, to just drape itself over the thighs or close enough or wherever you are, it doesn't matter. If your back is, is, if you can't reach beyond this here, this is what you do, right? You don't have to reach the toes. You could be on your shins. You could be anywhere on the legs. Big breath. We all have abilities and, and difficulties, so we work with those um, as much as possible. So we'll finish here with a... A Janu Sirsasana, I'm going to do an easy version here with my foot, left foot against my right knee. You can bring the foot close to your uh, upper thigh. I'm still dealing with that knee, so I'm taking it easy. And then pressing down. Big breath. Big exhale. Couple more. And let's come back up. Other side. Left leg is straight, right foot. So again, make sure you do both sides exactly the same. I'm going to do my right foot against my knee since I did it on the other side. Inhale, come on up with the torso. Reach up and elongate forward. 
Draw the sternum bone towards your foot. And then let the torso lie itself over the thigh. Big breath. Big exhale. Enjoying the stretch and the opening in the body. And then inhale, let's come back up. We'll lie back onto our mats. Roll a few times if you'd like. If you have any back issues, just roll onto your side and come lying down without rolling. Take a breath right here. Pressing, interlacing the hands over your shins. You want to press the thighs onto your belly. Just, it helps. We're pushing into the ascending column and the lower back is also uh, being worked with. All that, we're using our Ujjayi breath the entire time. Just releasing, allowing the body to decontract and let the tension leave you. The only pressure here is the hands on top of your shins pushing down onto you. Relax your shoulders. Big belly breaths. Good, and we're going to grab the knees and pull apart for a half happy baby pose. So you can hook the arms, the knees into the arms, into the inside of the elbow. Press the knees on either side of your torso, the shoulders and armpits. Keep the lower back on the mat. So you got to press it back down if it's lifted. There should be no gap right here underneath your, towards your glutes. Relax your shoulders and breathe into your belly. Expanding the belly deeply, make a little balloon out of it with every inhale. Good, last two. I will take a few extra more. I feel some uh, releasing in the right hip and right inner thigh here. So we'll go a little longer. So the breath is really the one doing the work. And the body is surrendering slowly because it's in a certain position and it's like, okay, fine. I'll conform. And so that's how we gain in yoga. All right, let's grab your feet if you can. To do your full version of your happy baby pose or dead bug pose. That's truly the name in Sanskrit. And push down with the knees. Push them on either side of you. Watch out that your lower back doesn't lift. So there's got to be a balance between the two. The opposite force. We're using opposite force. Take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Good. One more. And exhale, releasing. Recline, twist. Keep the knees together. Actually, we're going to grab a block. If you have one honey, put it between your knees and we'll uh, open the arms wide. Drop the, the knees onto your right. Make sure the left shoulder stays on the mat and just relax the legs here. So it will be a better angle for your lower back and to get uh, a little bit more squared up in your twist. Take some deep breath to, uh, again, to help the body along. We do everything through relaxation while we are in an intense posture. 
That's the yoga way. We're going to pull the legs off the floor, keep the block between your knees using your core, and then drop the knees on the other side. Big inhale, big exhale. Last breath. Good. Let's bring the knees in and up. Nice. Release the block. And then we're going to roll around the knees. So move the knees around in circular motion. Just massage your lower back. And then let's rock up. Come seated into your easy pose, cross-legged. Close your eyes, bring your palms together. Straight up spine. Your heart should be fully open by the end of this session. And at ease, in acceptance with yourself, with your life, with your challenges. Embrace it all. Have courage and face your difficulties. We all have them. That's how we learn from them. That's how we grow. Namaste. Great to see you today. Again, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos that will help you as well uh, along in your journey, yoga journey. Namaste.